Hi everyone, welcome to my simple kitchen. Today we're back with another amazing soup recipe just in time for fall and winter. I don't know about you, but the temperatures are quickly dropping here up north and there is just nothing better than a warm bowl of soup on these cold days. This one pot creamy Italian sausage soup is as easy as it gets and takes less than 30 minutes from start to finish. You'll start by heating your pot over medium heat. Add in one pound of ground Italian sausage, I like the Bob Evans brand, and one half of an onion finely chopped. The cooking process for this recipe is all done in a large pot or Dutch oven, and it moves pretty quickly, so I recommend getting all of your ingredients prepped and ready before you start. Heat those up until the meat's fully cooked and nice and brown. Add in about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and drain out any extra grease. This pot's pretty heavy, so I just use a paper towel to soak up as much as I can, but you can do whatever works best for you. Next, you'll add in a tablespoon or so of minced garlic. Mix that up and cook for about a minute. Once that starts to smell fragrant, You'll add in four cups of chicken broth, one can of diced tomatoes, and eight ounces or a half a box of your favorite pasta noodles. The smaller noodles work best in this recipe. Crank up the heat and bring that all to a boil. Here I like to add a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder for some extra flavor. You don't need a whole lot, so just use as much or as little as you'd like. Once it's boiling, reduce the heat to low and simmer for eight to 10 minutes or until the noodles are al dente. As it's simmering, make sure you continuously stir so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the pot. Then you'll add in one half cup of heavy whipping cream, one half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and four ounces of cream cheese. Give that a stir and let it simmer for about five minutes or until the cream cheese is nice and melted. I just tried this recipe for the first time a couple weeks ago and it was an absolute hit in our house. Once that's done and you're ready to serve, add in a small handful of chopped parsley. This recipe reminds me of the delicious Zuppa Toscana soup from Olive Garden, but even better if that's possible. You can enjoy this warm with a side of breadsticks or a nice side salad. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Garnish with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and parsley. Can't wait for you to give it a try. Check out one of these three videos next for more of our great recipes. Enjoy!